Today, many wonder if we'll ever experience a hurricane of this magnitude again. The hurricanes of 1944 and 1954 were subtle in comparison. But what if? Are we prepared? Hurricane warning is now in effect. The storm is expected to strike full force within 24 hours. All those living along the coast and low-lying areas are ordered to evacuate immediately. The hurricane barrier located here in New Bedford Harbor, designed and built by the Army Corps of Engineers in 1962, is the largest and most sophisticated barrier in the world. Since its construction, it has yet to be given the ultimate test. It was constructed to actually uh, save and uh, preserve the Fairhaven, New Bedford waterfront. At that time, it was New Bedford uh, Harbor was a, uh, and the New Bedford side of the harbor was a highly industrial area and a fishing port along with the uh, Fairhaven. The hurricane barrier enclosing the New Bedford Harbor was completed in 1966 after four years of construction at a cost of $18 million. The rocks were sold to the government at five cents a pound by a farmer from Dartmouth. Uh, the main control room consists of, um, we're not really a, an actually a weather station, but we do monitor for our own purposes the, uh, the barometric pressures, the wind speed, the wind direction. We also monitor the tides, both inside and outside the, uh, the harbor. This is done periodically in case of a tide watch or a coastal storm or a hurricane. Uh, they're on a, on a graph, it's, a, it's an ink pen type uh, chart that uh, we record on, and this is a 24 hour a day, seven day a week uh, operation. These huge steel gates, weighing 440 tons each, are equivalent in weight to that of a Navy destroyer. It takes 12 minutes for a 25 horsepower motor to close each half of the gates. Uh, we do have a uh, tunnel that goes from the New Bedford uh, abutment down uh, seven flights across underneath the uh, New Bedford Harbor. And then we pick up the Fairhaven abutment and come up seven more flights. And now we're up in the uh, Fairhaven abutment. We're down approximately, from the time we enter on the first level in the New Bedford abutment, we go down about 52 to 55 feet. The tunnel has a uh, two-fold purpose, actually. It's uh, an easy access, but it also supports the track and the steel I-beam that the uh, sector gates roll on. A lot of people have said that the structure's near, never really been tested but it's a, it's a massive structure. A lot of people think it's a big rock pile, but actually we have a, a gravel fill and smaller stone underneath, and then you cap it off with the uh, armor stone. This project uh, was designed, actually going back, they took 100 years of uh, records, weather records and so forth and so on, into consideration when they actually uh, designed this, uh, this barrier. We think it uh, will withstand an awful pounding. It shows it sure has been designed. It may not look it, but uh, the actual construction and the interior parts uh, are well put together. 